What's up guys, 436, I've been up since 410, already made a morning video, already posted, people already commenting on it. I'm gonna run in here, knock out some cardio. We're under a tornado watch, I guess, that's the watch for it, and then the warning is it's here and it's on your way, possibly. Tornado watch until 7 a.m., nothing I can do about it. I do find it amazing, Amber Alerts, right? Amber Alerts will punch through your building no matter where you are and tell you no matter what, at any time, your phone will go off when there's a child missing. Terrible. Most most of it's their own parents. But when there's a tornado advisory, your phones don't go off. You find out hours later in the morning, the tornado has hit and you never knew about it. All that noise you just heard inside, there's a little bit of rain, it's mostly wind. I don't know if you can see those trees whipping, starting to go. Animal feed is staged everywhere. We got high wind, I'm sure it'll blow some stuff around. I've got a ton of new plants outside that are pretty protected. I put them there where they are in case of wind. Wasn't expecting tornado watch, but life goes on. I'm gonna jump on here, get this done. And then my phone is full, so I've got to do some transfer from the phone to a hard drive. But the Apple computer I'm using doesn't recognize the phone, so I've got to use a different computer to do that. Always something. Always something. Why don't they just make all this damn equipment work with each other? They could. They actually went out of their way to make it not. I'm already past 30 minutes, didn't even realize it. My intention was 30 and then lift and then 30 more. I'm at 5, 13, just sitting here listening to videos on click funnels, just work stuff, how to work better, how to market better, how to advertise better. Busted out incline, busted out flat, little closer grip. I seem to be able to bench that way even though I have some tears. Jump over here, knock out some flat, and then I'll do some cables, and then I'll do a little bit of dumbbells. 549, I wanna finish this up in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, it's around 6.30, I think. Chest workout done, first 30 minutes of cardio done. Going to jump on this treadmill here and do another 30 minutes of cardio. Got this giant iPad, my phone, got my sippy cup. We should probably do something called a sippy cup. Phone, what time is it really? It's 6.10. I've got more time than I thought I had. So I'm gonna run this here for 30 minutes. Bump it up here, three miles an hour to start. Bump my elevation up to three, and here we go. Coming up on 30 minutes here, second cardio. Just watching some videos on marketing, quick funnels and ad funnels and stuff. Always heard about it, haven't utilized it. Definitely looking into it this morning. Talked to a couple people that I think probably use these and see how they could benefit my company, Special Operations Equipment. I know a lot of times in these videos, we don't even talk about gear or what I do or what I have done that allows me to do all the things you see me do in my videos. We can definitely talk about that. You guys have business questions. Keep in mind, I'm a terrible businessman. Maybe I've just been lucky for 35 years, but I probably know a few things that you might not have thought of. All right, 30 minutes of Leto Pro. Surefire flashlight fits right here in my Titanic range shorts. Death on contact. Microtech, this goes right here. And as you see, these have a wear guard. This also has a loop here, so you can wear a carabiner lanyard. These shorts are badass. I've made several videos on them. Probably time to make a new video on them. Gotta pee a lot, and I'm gonna run in here to my bathroom with faces. And lift my carbon fiber toilet seat. That's what dudes do. Whip it out. Oh my god. Holy crap, you guys. I just peed standing up for the first time in my life. Monday has been hectic. Holy cow, it's been hectic. Sink, little tiny drip has turned into a solid stream of water, which has turned into get a new part, which has turned into the part that the other part fits in is actually the problem and not the new part, to now new sink assembly. We found one, we're ordering, but man, ordering stuff right now, you just roll the dice. I've got probably 10 orders out in the last four weeks and only two of them have showed up, so we'll see. 158, I really don't have time to be running to Jackson, but I've got the trailer and the Tundra heading to Jackson. I'm gonna pick up as many of those bins as will fit in this trailer and the back of the truck while they're marked down. Just one of those opportunities. If I delay and wait till tonight or the weekend, I very well might be too late. I made the mistake of saying something about it on live feed last night, so those things might be long gone already. I'm gonna head up to the nearest Home Depot and see if we can get some of those troughs. At the Home Depot, will they have the tubs that were here yesterday? Let's see, Tartar brand troughs. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. So they make these as troughs and they make them as planters. Planters have no bottom. Because I want to elevate them and put them up on blocks, I need the troughs. So let's take these four spots right here. Looks like they've still got a bunch. It is 40 degrees out. It is cold. I almost didn't bring my Katanica hoodie. I am glad that I did. We've got one, two, three, four, 
four big ones and quite a few small ones. I wonder if I should just load these in and then go tell them, hey, this is what I've got, or if I should pay for them and then if more will fit, go do another trip. Somebody backed up through here. I don't think this was like this yesterday. I also don't think I can load these by myself. I think I'm gonna need a dude. Yeah, they're gonna be full of water, just like the other ones yesterday. I wonder how many we can get in there. These are six feet wide, and I think this trailer is exactly six feet wide. So I might be able to get one, two, three, and then four this way. They'll nest inside, some of them. There seems to be three sizes. I don't think they're tapered and that they actually fit in each other i think it's that the three sizes are actually an inch smaller than each other so one two three four and then the small ones will nest Okay, so one, two, three, four of the big ones, one, two, three of the small, tall ones, and then I got the last two short ones they had. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine more. I've still got some others, but they're all tall, so I'm just gonna stick with these, fill them up, see what they look like and how much they actually take. 337, so about an hour and 37 minutes, is that right? Left there at two, so 337. One hour, 37 minutes, and then it'll take about another hour to get home, so. About a three hour evolution, but got them done three hours out of the day, but I'll put the time in tonight, back into the shop and make it up. 443. Man, I'm dragging ass, my arm hurts. I got 100 excuses not to go do this. I don't know why either, but they're there. Boy, howdy, am I dragging ass. Boy, howdy. Who the fuck says boy, howdy? Where did that even come from? It's in my head. Some old movies. Don't even know what movie. Does anybody really even say that? I don't even, I just made that shit up. Who says that? Why do we talk differently now than we talked when we were kids? Why do the kids have new things, right? Remember, remember when we were kids and our parents would say we did things weird and they were just normal to us, but now now we look back at things. Boy, howdy. When is that from? Black and white movies? I think so. I don't know. Simpler time for sure. Are we better off for all the technology we have right now? Yeah, in a lot of ways we are. Would we be better off without it? Would we be more wholesome? Maybe. Were we harder then than we are now? I don't know. I know some really hard people. I know some people faced with just some insanely crazy stuff and they just continue to go on and, and achieve. Would we be better off without the technology? I don't know. But I think if the technology ceases, like if the electricity electricity stops, it's gonna be bad for a lot of people. Now, we keep a lot of people alive that can't keep themselves alive, and in my opinion, we keep a lot of people alive that shouldn't be alive. But you're gonna have a lot of people without electricity that will die. Would they have died in the olden times had we not had electricity? Yeah, they would. So, equalizer, kind of? But what are you preparing for? Like, what's your ultimate goal, right? Remember while you're preparing to be happy and have fun, right? You can spend your life, wait, it's cold out here, guys. You can spend your life waiting and preparing and be miserable while you're doing it or you can spend your life preparing and hoping nothing happens but if something happens you had a lot of fun along the way i'm just talking i don't know why i'm even talking i've got something in my head and i just can't get it out i think the one clarifier the solution to a lot of people's problems is literally movement you can take everything away from a man you can put him in a cage you can still work out and stay fit and when you have a problem and you need a solution or you need the answer or you're working on something if you walk away from it for a little while and just add in movement a lot of time the answer will come to you it might not even be the same path you were going down maybe even more important than the solution to that one thing that you're chasing right now is just to do anything because you put 10 dudes in a room nine out of ten are gonna do nothing and as long as you do something you got a 50 50 chance it's gonna be right so I'm gonna do some movement and I think I'm gonna do cardio first and then Amanda will show up here and start working out which really is completely backwards from what I need I need to come down here while she's not here and work out and then do the cardio but it's just not in me this morning I need to do the cardio first so that's what I'm gonna do and then once she's done with whatever she's doing this morning I'll come down here and I've got back still I did a chest yesterday really good chest like I touch it and I feel it right now I really feel it actually upper chest I did a lot of upper chest yesterday so I've got shoulders left arms buys and tries I don't usually do those together I usually do those with another body part I've got legs which I have been really good at avoiding <laughs> and I don't know why I have all the stuff. There's a few other pieces I definitely want to add, but I have this strip of concrete right here where I can do a lot.
lot of leg work, a lot of ground work, a lot of floor work. And here I am 10 minutes later and I've achieved not starting to move. So I'm gonna go up here and get on this treadmill. My morning video I feel was kind of lacking this morning. I don't know, maybe there's something there's something I needed to hear. Maybe today's the day one dude hears that message again and takes that first step. And here we are, here we go. Good job. There was a treadmill, a bike, an elliptical. There was an AMT trainer, that one. There was an arc and then another arc. And I'd let Sebastian come up here. He's like, can I go do the treadmill? I'm like, sure, go do the treadmill. And one day I hear, boom, boom, hear that beep. That treadmill's gonna come off. I've had to ask people go, he doesn't do cardio for an hour. He just lets the belt run. The belt won't run, it'll turn itself off. I heard bang, bang. And he was up here screwing around with dumbbells. No harm, no foul, whatever. But the problem is this beam right here. If you screw up on this treadmill and it throws you off, it throws your head or your face right into this steel beam beam right here. I don't know where the turn off is, but the thing turns off. I think it's at exactly a minute. It turns off after 60 seconds because I've been on the treadmill and I've had like 59 minutes I have to pee so bad. I'll go to that bathroom over there and by the time I'm to the bathroom, the treadmill's turning itself off. Here we go. Gotta pee, gotta stop. 47 minutes in. Yes, back it is. Every one of those ships in order this morning. What you just watched was me cleaning pouches. Those are free pound cake pouches. By the time you see this, that code is already dead. It was a free item. It's a really neat pouch. It's about the size of like a Game Boy, I guess. I never played games, but it's that size. Why was I standing there at the table? Because every one of those will clean and order. And I have other stuff on the table. I don't know how long that took. I'm guessing less than one minute per pocket. And that was to put them together, flip them, clean them, clean the outside, put them in the bin. And now they're going into
into boxes. The boxes are already boxed up, all the product that was ordered, that's the free item, goes in there and that will ship every one of those. And I did that in what? I don't know, I'm guessing under 15 minutes. It's a crazy because I have people that do that job every single day. And if I'd have given it to them, it would have taken an hour to do it. I have stuff already on the table that wasn't done yesterday. And we just give people, like we say to kids, right? Oh, he's a kid, you know, take it easy on him. Or he's young. We have bred a society of weak people and it's okay for them to not to perform and it's okay for them to lose. I don't know where that happened, where that disconnect was, but it's not so long ago in the history of the United States alone, it's not that long ago that we had 16 and 17 year old kids out fighting wars and killing other men. If they performed on the battlefield, those kids, if they performed on the battlefield at the level of which they perform now, do you think you would be here in history today? Those are your grandparents, your great grandparents, your great great grandparents. If they performed at the level that we allow people to perform today, would you, with your last name, be here in history today? And for a lot of us, the answer is no. So why, what has changed? Why do we not expect performance out of younger people? Why do we not hold younger people accountable? Well, he's a kid. Your children are usually a reflection of you. I would like to think that when I turn my back and I'm not looking, that my kid performs like I perform. I would guess he does because he's been offered money to leave here. He's been offered money to go back to his old jobs. So he must have been doing something right. I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just 15 minutes, knocked it out. That's probably 15, 20 orders that are gonna ship because of literally a minute input each and out the door now. So eight o'clock, the day starts at eight o'clock. Most of my people who have been out here on the floor right now, they were here at 7 15 7 30. i have a few other people called into work monday bare minimum it's always the same people capable but unwilling capable not motivated i don't know i don't know how to motivate them i mean i give them they all get the exact same thing it's just caliber caliber of people and what you hold yourself accountable to and the way you do one thing is the way you do everything i know some of you are saying no if you have that one thing that you just don't do then stop taking money to do it go do something else create your own job stop being an employee and go start a company i don't know to tell those people but i can tell you they're not here now i can tell you that and we get more stuff done with less bodies every time we have somebody who's always late or always has an excuse or always has minimum hours not even minimum hours but less than even a full work week when we get rid of those people and those tables are empty those sewing machines are empty we get more product every day it's a trip how that happens because we need members of the team but they have to pull their weight and when you have somebody that's doing less than less than par less than it's not even less less than minimum, just less. When you have somebody doing less, it takes another person to pick them up and fill in their spot. That stops them from being a 100% person. It's that wireless charging thing. I'm about to go live with Humble Mechanic and Nicole Sauce. We're already locked in and we start in a few minutes here. And we're live, it's finally happened. We actually started on time. We always kind of bubble around and start a few minutes late, but we did not want to miss one second with Charles, the Humble Mechanic. I sent a pitch to a company last week and boy, if they buy it, um, things will be good. And I think that if you're in a position where people trust what you say and ask your advice, I think that there should be evidence. They can, they, when they come to a thing here, all that shit we showed them, it's all here and still in motion. Well, thanks everybody for joining in and we'll see you next time. This is what we need because you can stack them and they'll be even. These are your eight inch blocks. I bet you use the pins. They're wide. Yeah, those are cool. You can knock the center out. I just want to walk around like I don't even know <laughs> what I don't know. This is a lot of weight. Definitely set the Toyota. We got it uh, pushed forward, but the tires are very mushed down. Cody said, how low is that tire? This one's worse. And I said, are we gonna make it? He said, do we have a choice? Good point, do we have a choice? We have to go a couple miles, so we'll kind of crawl. Hopefully we will go slow and we will get there and that'll be the end of it. Do you feel it? Oh yeah. Careful turning, you might walk that fucking tire right off the road.
so not what I pictured going to get, but we got them. These are all seconds. I think they'll work better because they are wider and they're gonna be more stable. So we can just stack two or three of these on top of each other to achieve the height that I want and then put our trough over that. My goal is to have these at about waist height. One of those bricks under these tall ones, one here, one here, maybe one in the middle, will achieve that. And then on the lower ones, I'll put two of them under each one. So we have four more blocks, I think, than we need, but I like having blocks that are around here. We always find a use for it. And these holes are big enough. You could use them to make a raised bed with and then actually put soil in the block holes also and put, you know, basil and stuff in there. Done that with eight inch ones and grew carrots around the perimeter and had corn and sunflowers in the center. Really? How many carrots? Just two carrots in each one or four? It depends on the carrot. I would put six or eight in there. Don't pick your nose. The camera can see you. Don't let children eat this. I'm gonna need you to come taste this and tell me if this tastes like potassium iodide. Plus, if you get radiated in the next 24 hours, you'll be okay. 8.06, I got a little sidetracked, had a couple dudes stop by, spent a little bit of time with those dudes. And it's now eight o'clock and it's raining. I came out here maybe an hour ago and it was pouring rain. We have all the cinder blocks here and I need to stage them around and kind of put these troughs and figure out where I want them to go. And of course, wherever I put them, I won't realize they're in the wrong place until we've loaded them with hundreds of pounds of soil. We'll get that figured out. Ideally, I put them out here, but then that eats into my parking and I still need semi trucks to be able to come all the way around the building here so I think over there and then over here also I think that'll work but I don't think that's gonna be a tonight thing I really wanted people to come in tomorrow morning and see that this was all done and I like to have a lot of evidence of success people say stuff like what are you doing tonight or whatever and I'm like you don't realize that when you leave here today I'm going to work an entire another day's worth of work and I like there to be a physical viewable demonstration and that would be a good one but I don't think that's what's gonna happen tonight I've been inside looking at the product that was finished today, putting it into inventory, making social media posts, and every one of those, every time you see a social media post, that's literally 10, 15 minutes is what that takes out of the day. So I've spent about the last hour doing that. I'm making, just warming up some lasagna, some homemade meatballs Amanda made. So I'll eat more meatballs than lasagna. Pretty clean on my diet, no alcohol at all for the last two weeks. And I think really the only thing I've really changed is no alcohol. And I can physically see it in the mirror. So I'll do that for a few more weeks and see what the results from that are. But I do want to get these planted but we've got 20 degree weather coming so this isn't going to stop me from anything like I can't plant anyways but I want to get them staged I want to see and just know where we're going to put them man I'm talking about Willis one of the realest to try my family SOE got the tools to survive